Welcome to our tutorial about the corner rip tool. Let's start by creating a profile, just a simple rectangle. Let's finish the sketch and go to the model tab. And let's activate the extrude command. 10 millimeters is fine. Click OK. If you start with a standard part instead of a sheet metal part, you're going to need to convert your part to sheet metal. Let's take a look at the convert panel on the ribbon. Here are the tool I've got showing is convert to standard part. That's because I'm using a sheet metal part. Okay, let's activate the shell command. Faces to remove. And in the thickness drop down menu, we need to use the list parameters. Let's choose thickness. Otherwise, this won't work. Okay. And let's go back to the sheet metal tab. Now activate the corner seam tool. Shape, let's use the rip option. We'll select one corner, and then the second corner. The tool only lets us select two corners at a time. Let's click Apply, and then select another corner. And the fourth corner. And let's click OK. And here are our corner rip features. Now we're going to need to add a bend to our part. Let's activate the Bend tool. We'll select this edge, click Apply. Now this edge, and click Apply. Two more edges, this one, Apply, last edge, and Apply. Let's cancel out of the tool. By the way, if you get an error message while creating the bins, the reason is most likely related to the following. Let's just suppress this feature for now. The relief is cut in the sheet metal on this side. Let's zoom in close. This can be a fairly common source of problems, something to keep an eye on. And let's unsuppress bend 2. Lastly, we need some corner treatments. Let's activate the corner seam tool again. Let's select this edge and this edge and go to the corner tab. Relief shape, let's use round, click apply. And let's go to this edge and this edge. Apply. Two more to do. Apply. And last corner seam. Apply. And let's cancel out of the tool. Now let's create a flat pattern from our part. Looks good. Let's fold our part back up. Go to folded part. Now let's create a new part. A sheet metal part in millimeters. OK. Let's create a profile now. Something like this. And let's close our profile. Right click done. Now let's dimension the profile. Let's make this dimension 20 millimeters. OK. By 25 this way. OK. Let's dimension this side now. Let's pull up a list of our parameters. We'll select thickness and click OK. The last dimension. It'll be equal to this dimension. OK. Exit the sketch. Model tab. Activate the extrude command. 10 millimeters will work for us. Let's click OK. Lastly, let's add a bend to this part. We'll activate the bend tool. Click OK. Let's create a flat pattern now, and here it is. If I were to create the same part starting with a standard part document instead of a sheet metal document, let's see how that works. Standard millimeters, OK. Let's create a profile now with the line tool. Close the profile. Right click, done. Dimension it. And let's just accept the dimensions that Inventor is providing for us here, OK. And as you recall, for this dimension, we use the thickness parameter. Let's try to pull that up again. But we don't see it here. Let's just enter half a millimeter here instead. Click OK. And the last dimension was equal to this previous dimension. OK. And exit the sketch. Now let's activate the extrude command, except the 10 millimeter extrude, click OK, and let's convert it to sheet metal. We get a warning now. 
For proper unfolding, the model should have uniform thickness equal to the model parameter thickness. We need to fix this. Please set the proper thickness in the Sheet Metal Styles Editor to match your model. Right-click, Visible. We'll double-click on this dimension. And this time we'll choose List Parameters, Thickness. OK. Let's update the model and activate the Bend tool. Select the edge to bend and click OK. And let's flatten our part. Looks good. This concludes our tutorial about the Corner Rip tool.